Hi everyone. You're welcome to Philco Mathematics. And before us today we have x plus x times x times x equals 10. Okay, this is very simple. Okay, because we'll use board mass here, multiply this first before adding. So I'm going to write x then plus x times x times x that would be x to the power of 3 equals 10 and mind you I can write the one with the highest um, the higher power first before this one so I have x to the power of 3 plus x equals 10 right and then mind you I can bring this 10 to the left so if I do that, x to the power of 3 plus x minus 10 is equal to 0. And one thing you must know, if this is equal to 0, that means that this one here should be equal to the 10. Okay, if x to the power of 3 plus x, then minus 10 is equal to 0. It means that the value of this and this have to be the same, right? So what I will do now is to express this in this form. So I have x to the power of 3 plus x, then minus, okay, if you like you can have this in bracket, which is not really needed. Then this 10 is going to be 8 plus 2. As we equate to 0. Now let's have x to the power of 3 plus x minus open bracket 2 to the power of 3 plus 2. This is equal to 0. Now look at the left hand side. Um, look at this and this. They are now in the same form right? So we can proceed and open the bracket. We have x to the power of 3 plus x minus 2 to the power of 3 minus 2 equals 0. Because the negative is expected to open the bracket. Now, there will be need for us to regroup. This is coming here. And this will come to x, right? So I'm going to have x to the power of 3. Then this is 2 negative 2 to the power of 3. Then I pick plus x, add it, you know, minus 2 will come to it, and then we equate to 0. Now we can group this again, and then we factorize. Here we have difference of 2 cubes, and uh, mind you, if you have a to the power of 3, minus b to the power of 3, this is the same thing as a minus b into a squared plus a b plus b squared difference of two cubes so our a minus b now is going to be x minus 2 so x minus 2 in the first bracket then here we have x squared then plus a, our a is x now, and our b is 2. So that, that means we have x times 2, then plus 2 squared for the b. Then, um, okay, yes, we will now equate. We will not equate to, to 0, right? So, okay, I have not written this. Okay, my bad, I have not written this, so I'm going to write plus, open bracket, x minus 2, then we now equate to 0. Okay, if we go ahead, x minus 2 is here, x squared plus 2x plus 4 is here, and we still have x minus 2, which I almost left out. Then we equate to 0. This and this are common factors. 
So x minus 2, I'll pick it out. And then here I have x squared plus 2x plus 4. Then plus this divided by this will give us, this divided by this will give us 1. Then we equate to 0. Let's open this one here and add 1 and 4. So x minus 2, our common factor. Then here we have x squared plus 2x plus 5 equals 0. Now we are multiplying the two brackets to get 0. This times this to get 0. And every time you multiply two terms to get 0, one of them must be 0. If not, you will not have 0, right? So we will say that let x minus 2 be equal to 0 first. So that x will be 0 plus 2. And then our x is 2. This is one of the values of x. And again, we'll now let this to be equal to 0. x squared plus 2x plus 5 to be equal to 0. And we'll get two more solutions from there. Okay, so from here now, let's use the formula method for this. x is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2 times a. So our x will now be, in place of minus b, we write minus 2 because b is 2 plus or minus, we have 2 squared over here, minus 4 times 1, because a is 1, the coefficient of x squared, then multiply by 5, the constant. So we will now divide this by 2 times 1, so that our x will now be minus 2, plus or minus, we have 2 squared, that is 4, then minus 20 as we divide by 2 because 2 times 1 is 2. Now our x is minus 2 plus or minus. We have 4 minus 20 is minus 16. Then divide this by 2. Ordinarily, the square root of 16 is 4, right? But the square root of minus 16 is going to be 4i. Now, our x is minus 2, plus or minus 4, then i, divided by 2. Our x is now, 2 can go there, we have minus 1, plus or minus, the same 2 will go there, we now have 2, then multiply by i. So, our x is now minus 1, plus 2i, or minus 1, minus 2i. Let's bring the three solutions together. We got x1 before, which is 2. Now we have our x2, which is this, minus 1 plus 2i. Then we have our third solution, x3, which is minus 1, minus 2i. These are the three solutions.